Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Mello and I collect anime figures. <laughs> I'm really excited for today's figures because most of them are building blocks for my best girl shrine and my best girl is Homer Akemi from Madoka Magica. I only watched it this year but I instantly fell in love with Homer. She is such a badass and such a cool chick so I want to be able to build a Homer shrine in the future. I discovered Madoka Magica by watching one of Super Tortilla's videos. She was doing these series of videos where she would show anime intros to her friends who don't watch anime and they had to guess the genre of the anime based on the intros and Madoka Magica was one of them. She described it as a magical girl series where the title character becomes god in the end. So I thought that sounds interesting. I enjoyed Sailor Moon, I enjoyed Cardcaptor Sakura, so I thought it might be the same magical girl experience. So I downloaded the show and started watching and boy was I wrong. The opening scene of episode 1 should have been a dead giveaway that I was getting myself into something I wasn't prepared for but I wasn't smart enough to comprehend it at that time. And by the end of episode 1, I thought this show is a little more serious than what I was expecting. And by episode 3, I was just gobsmacked. Um, it was a legit what the fudge moment. I watched the whole show, I watched the Rebellion movie, watched Machine Record, and I know season 2 is currently airing, but I am gonna patiently wait until it airs in full so that I can get my heart's fill of the Manica Magica universe. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna start with a piece of merch because it came bundled with one of the figures. Here it is. So this is a small glass of Devil Homura. Hmm. It's actually pretty nice. So it says Magica Magica on one side and then on the other side you will see a print of Devil Homura and some black and white feathers all around. It's a thick bottom glass, which is nice. Yeah, pretty good. So I have two figures that are not Humra, so I probably should start with those two. Let's start with Madoka herself. This is Ultimate Madoka, and it's an Ichiban Kuji last one prize got my scissor so it looks pretty old i think this is from like a really old ichiban kuji lottery but it is unopened now i got this figure because it looked so Cute. It looks so good. So, this is a stand, I think. Um, and the base. The base on this one is really nice. That This, I guess, is supposed to represent her in the universe. So, it's, it's a really nice base. Pretty light, though, just made of plastic, and I guess this is acrylic or something. I do have one worry about this base because I watched um, an unboxing video of this same figure and the guy said that the pegs don't match the figure, I guess. Um, so fingers crossed that that does not happen to me as well.
Ooh, she's shiny. Oh, she's so cute. Huh. So here is the beautiful ultimate Monica. Look at that gorgeous volume of hair. The wings. She has this pearlescent shine to her. Um, she's also the prize A figure. The prize A looks like it's the hair is more pink, and this is more of a light, shiny pink. Wow, details are actually pretty good. Paint shop's nice, though it's still a prize figure. And that's the what's under her skirt. Yeah, really nice. Now I'm gonna try to put her all together. So here is our beautiful Monica on her base. And unfortunately, I do have the same problem with the base. Basically, the, the peg on the other foot is too short. It should be longer, I think. Because due to Madoka's dress, it's already hitting the other part of the base. So that for that peg to go under the holes of the feet, it needs to be longer. So that's unfortunate. Um, I'm glad it came with another separate stand just to help support her. I think if she's just on a flat surface, you know, you wouldn't have really, you don't have to worry about her tipping over or falling down. Um, but it's sad that the base is not done correctly because this is such a beautiful figure. I would choose this over the Nendoroid. <laughs> um, yeah. The only worry I have with these type of Ichiban Kuji stands where it hugs the back of the head that it might scratch the figure. So that's my only worry with this. But still a really, really nice figure. I think I got this for almost 2200 yen. So she was pretty affordable. Next figure is also the non-Homer figure. This is Yachio Nami from Magia Record, and she is my favorite um, magical girl in Magia Record. Mostly because she looks like Homura, <laughs> and she they do have the same like personalities where they're very stoic, very serious, very standoffish. And I love her outfit in the show, and her, her spear weapon I also love. So let's open her up. This also looks quite old. But they said it wasn't open, so... Ah, oh, she's so cute. A lot of tape on here. There we go. So it also comes with the same kind of um, head holding stand. <laughs> um, here is her spear. Here is the base. It's just a plain white base and has her name on there. And here is Yachio herself. Ah, oh, she's so cute. I think they got her eyes right. She is so cute. There is also a Nendoroid of her. And I missed the pre-order, and I missed it because I did not know who she was. <laughs> um, when I saw the pre-order, um, I haven't watched Magia Record at that time. Um, 
And when I finally watched it and liked her, the pre-order was over. Um, but I do think this, the hair on this, the hair color, is more accurate with the anime than that of the Nandroid. I think the Nandroid is more blue in color, I think. So she has a hole on one of her foot. Uh, God, I really don't like this stance. I feel like they're gonna scratch up the figure. There we go. Here she is with the stand and the head holding thing. And her spear has a peg and her arm has a hole. So we are just going to yeah, this pier might not hold very well. Uh, there we go. And here is the beautiful Yachio Nanami from Magia Record. This is so cute. Yeah, she is so cute. This spear though, I feel like you can knock it off pretty easily, but again, if you just place her or display her somewhere that she won't get nudged, then she'd be fine. Super, super cute figure. Now for the Homer F figures. Um, let's start with the, this is the one that was bundled with the glass earlier. Uh, okay. Yeah, this one has already been opened because it's an Ichiwan Kuji J prize and it was a blind box. So these were the possible ones you could get. And I actually chose this one. And this is Homura. And her school uniform holding a dead Cube. I hate Cube. Uh, gosh, it also comes with the head holding stand thing. Okay. Um, so here's the stand. It's a black stand with symbols I am not familiar with. <laughs> um, so here's the stand and the base and you just need to attach Humorous head to the body. This is actually pretty nice. Like the quality of this it's actually pretty nice. You can move the head if you want to, but that's about it. The hands and the feet don't move. Let's put her on... Uh-oh. thought I broke it. <laughs> so here she is, looking so smug and badass, holding a dead QA she just killed. And she's wearing Monica's bow. Really nice, really cute. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be very happy to add this to my Homura shrine. Next chibi figure would be... Let's do this one. This is a Nendoroid Petite. And I got the schoolgirl pigtails Homura. There's another Homura, but I didn't like how that looked. So here she is. Gosh, she is so tiny. Glasses can be removed. Left arm is movable. Uh, her, her waist is movable, but her feet are not. I wonder if you can remove the... Huh. You can remove the hairpiece. Huh. 
you can remove the hairpiece just like a normal Nendoroid. So this stand is just this plain little white thing, clear white plastic, and this ball jointed stand which is very snug and locks in pretty easily. And like any Nendoroid, the back part has a hole. Okay, and here she is. She is so cute. Last chibi figure and we can get to the bigger girls. A Bang Presto figure. The photo of the figure on the front. This looks like the same size as the Nendoroid T. So you just put the head into the body and there she is. So there's a hole right under her head. Base says Madika Majika. And it has this arm thing as well. So no holes or peg on the foot, it just goes at the back. And here she is. Also super small, but super cute as well. Let me know in the comments down below, do you like Badass Homura or Pigtails and Glasses Homura better? I like them both, I'm not gonna choose. <laughs> well, let's start with Pigtails and Glasses Homura as well. This is a Taito figure. And I think this is my first Taito figure. Oh wow, she is beautiful. This is a very dynamic pose for pigtails and glasses Homura. So there's her shield and her base is this black face, which I'm glad has a design on it, not just a plain black face. That was easy. It was pretty easy to put on there. And it's pretty tight, I guess. Not falling down. And it comes with her, her golf club. It's pretty flimsy. I guess it's a piece of wire. And let's slide it in. That was very easy. So here is Pigtails and Glasses Homura with a golf club and she is gorgeous. So this is also a price figure. Hmm, but the details are pretty nice. Details are pretty nice. Yeah, it's a pretty nice figure. This was just a thousand yen, so I am completely happy with this purchase because for what I'm getting, it's super, super nice. And for our last figure is this really big <laughs> figure. Also a Bang Presto figure, also a price figure, and it is the EXQ figure. Alright. Oh wow, she's big. It's a really big figure. She is big guys. Look at that, like next to my face. <laughs> She is big. Wow. This almost looks like a 1 8th or maybe even like a 1 7th scale. But it's just a price figure. Her base is pretty boring though. It's just this white. And she also comes with this big ass bow. Alright, let's put her together.
And here we go, guys. I love the pose of this. It makes her look so cool. And like, there's like a pretty massive volume of hair that comes with her. That's just a really nice dynamic pose as well. Although the paint job is not that great compared to the title one. Yeah, the title one has better, has a better paint job. And I think better colors as well. But it's maybe just, this is just so big. So the flaws are more noticeable. This skirt is pretty nice though. Yeah, it's a pretty nice figure, guys. Like, the only thing I don't like is the paint job on the stomach area. I feel like it's starting to lose its color. And maybe just because it's an old figure as well. But overall, I mean, come on, for a thousand yen? <laughs> This looks really, really good. And that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for joining me today. I had a blast unboxing these figures, and I'm excited to add more to the collection. I hope you had fun, and if you did, please hit the like button, and also please consider subscribing, as I have a lot more unboxing videos to come. And let me know in the comments who your best girl is or if you're currently creating a shrine for your favorite character. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye!